Welcome to TradeTheNBI.com. This is John. This reports for February the 22nd. So we can see that we've had our, you know, initial pump off the decline. We've kind of faded just a little bit. Uh, that's because we were still seeing soft shakeout and we started to see the uh, shorts who had pretty much completely faded the situation and started to reactivate here. We expected a little bit of softness. We had the positive extremes. Um, well, going back from right here at the low and um, 26.88 range. And in the dip right here, we got down to 82. So that's filled in place now. Uh, we're just not seeing any um, resurgence of short-term, mid-term buyers. And uh, it's like I said, it was just an inconvenient time to uh, try and create a push just yet. Um, the potential for it is still building though because uh, a little bit of a dip down, uh, you might be able to see uh, some recovery out of that still holding up. Clearly you can see right here, right at the ABM for uh, the uh, gold line for the NASDAQ as well. Um, and a little bit better improvement. We talked about this, the NASDAQ was performing a little bit stronger and uh, holding its own. So it's still within that you know weak phase. Here was the um, positive extreme. We had the dip below the um, low right here. It went all the way down to the wick. Normally I'm satisfied with just the open on these when they have the longer wick, but we went ahead and filled it because we still continue to uh, have short-term buyers fading the situation. That's led to uh, a full DOC spread here all the way at the, the bottom range of it. And it's just been a continuing declining shakeout. Now see, you ended up with that higher, the higher high actually where it came right here on that lower shakeout and um, it couldn't hold through that. And so it's, uh, it's still outside the range. Um, potential move lower um, to get back into that range, not surprising. And this is going to feel that a little bit. I mean, look, we've had this 113 target for some time. Uh, we've just been slowly uh, eking our way down as people realize, hey, you've got growth. That means you're gonna have, you know, increase in um, inflation as well as, um, interest rates rising. And the potential for the Fed to get a little out of control is there. I'm not sure that they're willing to do that though. That would just balloon debt and every uh, other negative consequence you can imagine. As far as oil goes, it's holding its own on this uh, little pop back up from the highs. Um, and again, this was what we were seeing from the inflation standpoint that's going to be building. Uh, it's going to ease off a bit. We'll see if it's able to uh, come back because while prices tend to rise, they don't tend to come back down uh, nearly the same rate or in the same extent, which is always an interesting one when it comes to uh, that aspect of it. But gold, just moving right back into there. We filled in the positive extremes uh, the other day, so that had completely uh, been recast. And then, of course, uh, ended up with a DOC spread right here as we were breaking below the uh, ABM yellow and that allowed for it to get filled and we've had a little carry through on it. Uh, it's fun to always show this because uh, you know we talked about the uh, short setup as it was building coming through this range here and it wasn't until we got uh, the DOC spread without a uh, reset of uh, steel coming down below like we had here even though you had the DOC spread uh, you didn't get much of a break because you had a complete reset of both the steel and uh, midterm buyers. And so that was enough to pull it back up. But as we came across, we ended up with the additional warning lines um, right back here, where also didn't have it. You had a little bit of a push. You, even shorting it right about that level would have been okay as well. And um, it's a tiny move higher before we ended up. And then I, I highlighted these because this is what I always look for is these positive extreme retraces. And the last one being all the way back over here, which is exactly what we just took out. Uh, well, it took it out uh, yesterday uh, for the close and had a nice little spike back up a little bit above the 50% and then you ended up with another strong DOC spread right here and that moved the shakeout back to negative. And you can see it was a pretty good stretch of negative uh, shakeout readings that kept every little uh, buy setup within there was met with uh, more weakness from that uh, shakeout reading. Now you're making new lows here, about to dip below. Well, it already has dipped below the 10,000 range, 9,990. But it's just interesting because that's a time chart and it shows that even within those, you can still get 
Um, very accurate reading. Going to reduce this 5K chart just a little bit. You can see how we had the buildups came across, and then we ended up with uh, stronger sell signals as the shakeout moved to negative. And within that negativity, uh, never had a uh, other than well, right about here, you had a brief reset. Um, but then once it closed uh, with the steel right below that sign in there, you continued your free-for-all. And um, that hasn't changed at this particular point. Uh, we ended up with a couple of setups uh, right about here, but always below the 23%. It wasn't until just right, right about now that we've seen our first close above the uh, 23%. Um, that has the potential to move all the way back up to the 2705 range. So that's what we'll be looking for um, in the interim pre-market here. And um, not quite overbought uh, in any sense. So there's the potential that that could uh, run a little bit more and provide uh, a little bit of stability within this. It's still, we're within a broader range if you look at it from like the multi-day chart. You know, we've been in this back and forth. So we've been a little above, a little bit below if you look at it from like a multi-day, like when we're looking at the daily chart. So all in all, the action is pretty clean. It's easy to follow either a long or a short, um, depending on how much uh, you know strength they build up. Uh, it's where that uh, fib level retrace on this has really becomes effective in seeing which ones are going to have more oomph to them versus the ones that are just going to be uh, passive attempts that uh, don't quite get there. Uh, none of these that uh, came across were above the 23%, uh, except for this one right here. Uh, which was brief that then ended up with the steel crossing below right at the break-even point pretty much and then it became a short. So we're going to have to just uh, wait it out uh, for some buildup of um, momentum or strength and uh, I think that we're probably just going to see a little more consolidation until there's something that uh, can move the bar and that's probably going to be earnings coming up. So one day at a time. As always, though, trade well. I'll put up any charts as needed.